everyone knows that one of the most popular games in Roblox is Brookhaven. The game has no less than 30 billion visits. Another really popular game in Roblox is Doors, with about 3.3 billion visits. And in today's video, I'll be making doors inside of Brookhaven. If we search for Brookhaven doors, there are a few bad knockoffs of doors inside of Brookhaven. Like this one, Brookhaven, but with doors. I'm already inside the game. Now, what do we need to do in here? Is Sonic here? Wait, where is he? Whoa! I turned myself into Sonic. And we found some crewmates too. This is pretty sus. If we step into one of these, we can also become a crewmate. But it's pretty bugged. Look at me inside of Sonic. There's a Sonic in prison inside this box. Let me help him out. You can come out now. Go ahead, get out. He just locked himself in again. Anyways, let's look at how it is down here. Whoa, what is this? There's a giant monster in here. And he seems to be bugged at the starting platform. What's that guy running on the roof? Oh gosh, this creature is running to me. Get away from me. Whoosh. Good thing I'm Sonic and I can zoom around these guys. Look at this guy. This guy runs so weird. Wait, does he not do damage? He literally just stands there. Not scary and doesn't do anything. Dude, why did he fall like that? Look at the little Amogus here. You good? Oh. They just zoomed away. Wait, why is there a car in here? Oh gosh, dude, that scared the heck out of me. What even was that? Good golly. So yeah, this one ain't really that good. Brookhaven doors. Wait, what is this game? Where is Brookhaven? This is a parkour course. It's neither Brookhaven or doors. I've been bamboozled. Now it's our time to make our own doors in Brookhaven. Before that, I just want to ask that you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you like doors or Brookhaven. Right now, I'm using Roblox Studio so we can edit Brookhaven's map. Here in the model library, we'll look for sky. I need a very spooky sky so it blends in with doors. There's this dark and cloudy sky I found. It looks really cool. But I don't like the lines in the skybox. So let's look for another one. There's also this one. Wait, what is this? Dude, what even is this thing? It's like a crappy little face thing. Oh, this one looks cool, but I think it's still too bright. Now this one is really cool. It's all cloudy and dark. I like it. Next up, we'll search for doors. Here we have a bunch of stuff to add to our Brookhaven. For example, I can get Seek Sight on this wall. This is one of the eyes of Seek. One of the entities in the game. And we can't forget to get actual Seek as well. Let's just make it bigger so it looks more menacing. I think that's big enough. Right here on top of these doors. I'll be putting on the doors logo. Just so everyone knows that this is doors in Brookhaven. I think it looks pretty nice there. I'll even place it to this side too. I think it will look great. We just have to turn it around. And that's perfect. I'll even spread some of Seek size all around town. One right here. Something that I gotta change has to do with these squares. It's basically where the players spawn inside the game. So I'll be deleting all of them. I'll take this fountain away too. As well as these lights beside it. I'm just not able to remove this water. But I'm sure it's not gonna mess with anything. Since indoors there's lots of elevators. I'll search for an elevator. And I'll get the elevator right where the fountain was. Cool, but the water is still inside. No problem. Let me make it bigger. Dude, you know what? I'm just gonna take that out and get another fountain just so it doesn't look bad. Awesome, at least it's looking good. Now, since that last map had a platform on top of it, I also got one so we can put some things on it. Like the elevator from doors, just have a look at how pretty it looks. I'll also get some chairs here. Since I know that there are some chairs in the door lobby. I think that looks nice. Now on the ground we gotta get some texture going. Like this one. I think it gives the vibe we're looking for. So that's how it's gonna be. I'll also get some wardrobes. Since it wouldn't be doors without the wardrobes. Let me also get this thing on the ground. Which I'm not sure what it is. But it glows a lot. Let me get this sofa too. Oh wow. This is looking fresh. I'm loving this. A grandfather clock would look cool. Oh yeah, 
we can get this guy in here too. Its name is Screech or something, and I think it's really cute. I think the platform is looking good. I got some boxes in here, and that looks incredible now. Now I'll get the spawn so people start inside the elevator. Let's put it inside the ground, and that feels good. Another thing I want to do here is to delete both of these trees at spawn. I have to get some spooky looking tree, like this one that's on fire. Well, it kind of looks cool. Actually, I'll get this leafless tree that's also on fire. Let's just make it bigger. Now that looks really nice. I also want to get something instead of these potted plants. What if I get these boxes? I think it would give the vibe of doors. Since you see these a lot in the game. So let's spread them in their place. I think it will look good. Yeah, I think it does look good. Now I'll remove all these poles. And I'll get these lights from the game. Which are poles but do look cool. So I'll put those in their place. Just look at how it's already looking. I'm already liking it a lot. So guys, we are now getting inside the game to have a look if everything is looking good or not. But I for sure have to add more stuff. So I'll show just a bit of stuff for you guys. To start, we have this open wardrobe that's letting out smoke with a creepy smile right there. Good gosh. There are some piles of boxes around. Here we have one of Seek's eyes. Wait, we can get inside? Yes, we can actually hide on it. Whoa, what just happened? So we can actually hide inside these things. But here in front of it, we have both Seek and Screech. Very cute. There's the grandfather clock, the couch, the chairs. Have you guys seen how bizarre the sky is now? Look at it moving. There's even lightning. Whoa, that's so damn spooky. We're doing a good job then. Let us have a look down there. Oh gosh, get away from me, Seek. I just wanted to see how the stuff around is. Please, I'm your friend. This guy walks so weird. What is he even trying to do? Holy moly, he threw me out of the whole map. Why did you do that to me? Look at how Brookhaven is looking from far away. It's like a flying saucer. We're back now. Look at how this fountain is looking. I think this one looks great. You can even swim on it. Dude, are you serious right now? And look at these dual headlight stands. Their light even helps with the atmosphere. Even the door's logo there is looking great. This thing can't stop following me. Right here we have the leafless burning trees that can't burn us. But they do look cool. Dude, that thing is starting to piss me off. There is some stuff that I feel like it's still missing. For example, some more walk speed since we're going too slow. I put this thing that should give us some nice speed. At least I hope so. Actually, I'll get these ones that can take us to about 500 which should be really fast. I think right there is good. Let's add this building, which is Jeff's shop from doors. And there's creepy old Jeff. It's okay. It's just a spooky little place. Right beside it, I've put another building, which is the library. It's basically the map where you have to hide from the figure. There's even an afraid little noob. And oh gosh, that guy is not doing good. There's also this guy that's trying to get out of here. This looks so good that I put it in place of the motel. Right here where the police station should be. I'll put up another of Doors' rooms, which is the room with the rift, which is the thing right in the middle of it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but you can find it in the electrical room. Let's get some more monsters around. Like the figure. One of the most well known of Doors' entities. This guy right here is called Glitch. And it is so bizarre. Look at him glitching around. I hope he chases people. Let's actually spread them around the map. Because if they are too close together. It's gonna be really hard to run from them. There's even that little ghost guy. He's called Halt. I love how its eyes glow like that. Right here far away from the whole map. I'll just get every other entity from Doors. I'm not really sure if they give chase. But let's leave them there. Let me get this guy over here. A very weird guy. We're now at the highest peak in all of Brookhaven. I'll just delete all these trees. Because on top of this, I'll put some kind of door statue. I think the icon is a good idea. That looks pretty nice. Right? Now I'm back at our doors in Brookhaven. Let's see how things are inside this place. Oh gosh. Look at those guys coming. Leave me alone, please. Oh no. Those guys actually chase you. They're gonna destroy me. Let me get inside this place. You ain't gonna get me that easy. Take that. I escaped. Can those little guys get inside though? Yes, they can. Run. Good golly. It caught me. At least I'm up here to try our walk speed. Here we have the normal one. Then 25 speed. 
Now this is 50 speed. And even 500. Wait. Let's see, 100 actually. It's more controllable. Now I'm a lot faster so that I can get away from these guys. Now, what happened to you? I guess the figure isn't doing too well today. And here are all the other guys we placed here. I just didn't know if they did anything. And it doesn't look like it. They don't seem to damage me in any way. Wait, what is this? You were kicked from this experience. Mr. Beast. Wait. What? What does that even mean? Now we know we can't get close to those guys as they kick you from the game. Oh gosh, get away from me. Dude, these guys were just standing still and out of nowhere they began to chase me. So either these guys really don't do anything or it is a matter of time before they run towards me. The city is looking really nice. Let's see how Jeff is doing. Wait, what happened here? Oh no! See? threw me away from the map again. Let's just have a look around the library to see if there's anything interesting. Here we have our little noob scared as all heck. Poor little guy. Here's another player on the ground. It looks like he's taking a nap. This place is really bizarre. But it is just a library. There's mostly just books. There's even a guy trying to open this giant padlock. Wait! What happened to your arms? That's kind of weird. It even rains on the windows just like the game. That's really cool. Oh, look at that thing right there. Wait, does it just go back and forth? That's kind of weird. But look at how the eye is always looking at us. That's spooky. I'll get away from that. Here we have one of Seek's eyes. Look at Glitch right there. How you doing, dude? I think this guy isn't really a chaser. Happy to have a friend here. Here we have the Riff Room, but it's mostly just decoration. We don't have much to do here. Look at the smiley face. You good? Can I touch it? Well, at least it doesn't do anything. Oh, are you stuck there, buddy? I think it got itself stuck on the bus stop. Do you need any help? Oh, I can actually touch him. We're back to all these weirdos. Oh, guess one of them ended me. So we better not touch them. Dude, look at that guy. I think his name is Bob. Look, there are the little ghosts. Hello, Halt. Apparently someone called Jose died here. Oh, did it do damage? I'll just leave it alone. Wait a minute. I think this guy is trying to talk to me. What do you need, my dude? This game is nice. Really? Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting a compliment. That feels good. So guys... If you want to try out the game I just made, you'll have to go to my Roblox profile, which is at Nando YT. Search for me and give me a follow as we are almost to the 10k follower mark. Also, because I can sometimes play some games in public so you guys can join in with me. So go follow me. And below that we have my Roblox group. Join it because soon I'll be doing some Robux giveaways for those that are in it. And just a bit below it you'll find my favorites. Here you can find every game that I've made in Roblox. And right here you'll find Brookhaven Doors. So go give it a try and tell me what you think about it. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're just as cool as this one. Leave a like on the video and comment down below more map ideas for us to do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Have a good one!